Thank you very much, Mr. Pham. And yes, because cryptocurrency is materializing, there are growing concerns about its impacts to the U.S. consumer. With that in mind, let's shed some light about the importance of this new money. What can you do with the information about this brand new money that is circulating out there? The possibilities are boundless. Learn and know how to obtain, trade, and wager with this new money as mentioned earlier by Mr. McAmey. But keep in mind that Mark Hoshton, for American Banker in 2017 stated that most people don't even know where to buy cryptocurrency. And he also explained stating there are over there are over 1500 different types of cryptocurrencies so there are different opportunities to get involved in the bitcoin craze as they call it as eric said earlier bitcoin stock was valued 85 times more than its original value since its initial public offering when i purchased my laptop last month i noticed the growing retail prices of computers from laptops to desktop pcs and so there are growing efforts to meet the supply and demand by different companies. Omar Gallardo for the Austin American Statesman earlier this year on its monthly issue in February argues that cryptocurrencies cause graphic cards prices to spot. So for gamers it means buying video game consoles and buying those devices at two, three times its original price. We're talking about up to several hundreds of dollars due to changes in the computer industry. Also, you will notice gradual changes in your local banks when using the ATM machines. George Yachik wrote an article titled, Happy 50th Birthday, the ATM and Cryptocurrency Bloodbath in June of last year, 2017, describing how companies are preparing to meet the buoyant rise of digital money-making monopolies, saying that banks and ATM makers hope that rather than being subsumed subsumed by mobile payments, ATMs will be able to absorb them. This is because, like Eric said, they are not subdued to extra fees and do not require any transparency and are traded just about anywhere. And since this new money is really not tax-based income, the IRS is trying to measure its legality. Austin Elliott did a topic research in 2017 headed Collection of Cryptocurrency Customer Information and then he was saying tax enforcement mechanism or invasion of privacy asserting that the IRS is monitoring cryptocurrency makers and giving notice to these companies requiring them to comply to tax code notice 2014-21 its purpose supplemented by the IRS on April 14, 2014 gives existing general tax principles applying to transactions using virtual currency so what is cryptocurrency? It's digital decentralized money exchange and mined by different entities that take advantages and risks along with the concerns with treating crypto as an asset or property in regards to the American consumer. I want to personally give thanks to Joseph and Eric for their support and efforts in, the, in this review of information. And remember that money is like art and that it has no face or limitations and is accepted anywhere in the world. Thank you.